I've been acting since I was very, very young, since I was uh, three years old. And um, I've been singing since I can remember, so before that. So music, and I've been writing songs since I was five, music is an entirely different thing to acting. It's, it's very difficult to compare them. Um, you know, acting's a job that I really enjoy, and music is who I am. It's you're expressing yourself. So to compare self-expression to um, an enjoyable job is kind of an unfair question, I think. tries to cross over from some other form of success in show business, I mean, like, it, it can be very pieced together. Taylor's, I, I think, a little unique in that she really came as a singer-songwriter. Like, she she really, That's she, what I she do organically first. grew it up. She wasn't looking to put out a record to have a record out, or I want to be in a band, so cut my hair and, and get me some musicians. She worked and wrote and wrote and wrote until she felt she had a record's worth of material to put out, and that took her years and years and years, which made her much more pa <clears throat> palatable to musicians like ourselves, who have been, you know, trudging along our whole life. Um, and I, I think a talent that, that ha has a quality to it that lots of people have been seeing, so, um, which annoy the crap out of us who've been trying to do this forever, and, we, and then she walks in and sings, it's like, oh, shit, she's great. And, and that really kind of, like, you know, took it. But, you know. <laughs> Mostly my style has been compared to other female rockers, which we're all in rock and we are all female. So... <laughs> I think there's very few female rockers to com rockers, uh, few we female rock bands <laughs> to compare to each other. So I mean, I think Courtney is probably one of the biggest ones. And so, since she's blonde and since she barks about Nirvana every ten minutes, I'm sure that that doesn't help at all with that comparison. But I mean, like, it's better than being but compared I mean, to my idol's Robert some, Plant. So yeah, <laughs> another blonde. Another blonde. I think I look more like Robert Plant than Courtney Love, personally. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody makes my medicine. It's the meticulousness of the writing yeah. <laughs> requires time. I mean, we wrote the energy. we wrote the record for a year and a half. So, give us another year and a half, maybe two, and you'll have a second record. You so. have a band of and, and a producer uh, who we work with, Cato, a very meticulous, very hands-on, very you know par guys who who don't want to drop below something. So, anytime you get to get a heads up on. On the writing, Just, uh, on any part of it, so you can get a jump start on the other guy. Because once it goes from the writing to the production, 
you hopefully you've t- uh, we write we take most of the time and then give it to the producer. He then has Does less time because we have taken all of time. the time. <laughs> so whoever gets in the most, whoever time gets in first, which is win. the writing, wins the process. <laughs> it wins the process. But we've been pretty par with each other. Yeah. I don't really know what you just said. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> that was called gibberish, kids. <laughs> and to all the people left behind, you are walking dumb and blind. Two thousand girls have been awake, waiting for the day to shine. Make Me Want to Die is our first single. Um, we're very excited about it. And I guess it's it's <clears throat> it's kind of, I guess it's loosely based on um, Romeo and Juliet. It's a tragic love song. Um, not being able to live or having any reason to go on without this person or thing in your life. And, uh, you know, I'll elaborate. Being drawn into the darkness. Yeah, being drawn to the dark side. Of love. And, and death. And rock and roll. And rock and roll. Make me wanna die. 